today I will show you how you can replace this weapon here, the one from the Epic Game Shooter Game example, with your own one. So let's start. First of all, go to the Weapon tab, and then Export the Rifle. So do right click onto it, then go to Export, and export it as an FPX file. Now open up any program that converts the FPX file into an OBG file, so my case through this Max. Then import your weapon, so the one from Epic Games. And then just export it as an OBG file so that we can use it in Blender. Of course I will put a, a download link into the description where I will provide you the OBG file of this weapon here. So we'll just go to export now. And then I will choose OBG. Where is it? Here. Okay, now open up Blender. And in here we have to import the OBG file, because we need the scale and the position of the weapon from Epic Games. So go to File, Import, OBG, and then just import it. And as you can see here, that is the best position for a weapon, so the one where Epic Games weapon is. is. So we'll move our weapon to that position now. So we'll scale it up a little bit, a little bit back, and then a little bit up. And now make sure that the site here is exactly in the position from the one from Epic Games. So in the middle of this circle here. Okay, that should be good. Now delete the weapon from Epic Games. And now we have to add a bone. So first of all go to Object, and then click on to Apply, click on to Location, another time on to Object, Apply and Scale. And now we have to add the bone, so go to the Create tab, click on to Amateur, then a bone should spawn. Move the bone directly to your weapon. So that's 0, 0 and 0. And then rotate it 90 degrees into the x-axis. So 90 degrees. And I will move it to the weapon now. Ok, now we have to bind our bone to the mesh. So select our mesh, then the amateur, press Ctrl P and then go to with empty groups. Ok, that's it. Now go another time onto Object, Apply, Apply Location. And now let's try it out. Go to File, Export, Autodesk FX, and export it as a FBX file. Then open up the Shooter Game example. So this one here, the Shooter Game. And then we have to import it. So we'll go to File, New, 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 ok. And then do a right click, go to import, and then import your weapon. And make sure that it is a skeletal mesh, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now let's try it out. Go to the blueprint tab, click onto weapons, and then go to weapon gun. Now down here you can see the first person mesh and the third person mesh. Here we have to add our weapon. So just select it, and then I will add it. Okay, now let's try it out. Play from here. You can already see, it lies into our hand, and we, when we zoom, it is a little bit, it's a little bit beside our position, as you can see here. So, that position you have to adjust in Blender, because as you can see here in the blueprint, under the component tab, we can just move around the third person mesh. So you can adjust the third person mesh in the Unreal Engine 4, but you have to adjust the first person mesh in Blender, or in any other 3D program you like because we can't move it here, and we also can't scale it up. So we'll just go back to Blender, and there you scale it up, down, and move it right, left, so as you like that it fits to the position where it should be. I won't do that now, because this will take some time, so just close this, and then we will open up my other weapon file. And there we just click to export, and then I will click on to untitled. Because here, here I have already set the position with which would be perfect for that. So let's try it out. Let's import it. And let's see. Ok, play from here. And you can already see here, it's nearly perfect the position as you can see here. Of course, down at the hand it should be a little bit bigger and so on, but as I said you can just adjust this in Blender or in any 3D program you like. But for me, it's good enough now. 
Okay, now go back into the blueprint, into the weapon blueprint. And in here we can change some stuff. For example, down here under the config file, under weapon config, you can change the maximal ammo count, for example, to 500. Then the ammo per clip, let's say 1, or let's say 300. Then of course, how many clips you should have, let's say 5. And here you can change the fire rate of your weapon. So for example, 0 0.01, then it should fire very quickly. So let's try it out. You can already see here, 300 shots, 1500, 100 bullets, and it fires pretty fast here. Then of course, down here, you can change the trail from the gun, and of course the muzzle flash, so as you can see here now. That in front of the weapon is the trail, and the muzzle flash is behind the weapon, because we have to add a socket after I've explained all the settings in here. Then of course down here, you can change some other stuff. And down here at the sounds, you can change the sound from your weapon. So for example, the fire sound, the fire loop sound, and so on. So here you can just play around a little bit. I will just leave it like that now. And now I will show you how you can add the muzzle flash. So go back to your weapon. Then open up the weapon from Epic Games. And here you can see a muzzle flash socket. So do a right click onto it. Go to rename socket. Copy this. Then go back to our mesh. Click onto amateur. Right click. Add socket and then just paste the name into the socket. Okay, now we have to place the socket in front of the weapon, so the place where the muzzle flash should be. So we'll just move it to the front here. Get a little bit up here. And that should be good. Now let's try it out, play from here. You can already see here, the muzzle flash points into the wrong direction. So go back into the weapon, and rotate it. So just rotate it around let's say this 180 degrees. Play from here. Okay, that's too much, so a little bit back. Okay, and now the fl muscle flash is in the right position as you can see here. And as I said you can replace this this particular system in the blueprint settings. So we'll just replace it now, we'll go to the particular effects. I will go to the blueprints now, weapons, weapon gun, and then we search for particular effect. So effects, particular system, say weapon. And let's replace it with the with the rocket launcher effect. So we'll go to muzzle flash and this here. I will put it to the muzzle flash. And this here I will put it to the to the tray. Okay, so let's try it out. You can already see here, we've replaced the particular system from our weapon. Of course this doesn't fit now, but I'll I just show it to you how it works. Well, it looks pretty cool here. Shining balls. <laughs> okay, and as I said, you can also change the sound and so on. Okay, so yeah, that's how you add your own weapon to the shooter game example. Of course you can add some more stuff like reloading animations and so on, but I will just keep it simple now so that you know how you can import your own weapon in the right scale into the shooter game example from Epic Games. So I hope you liked the tutorial and until next time.